everyone, it is the Charming Giraffe, and today we are going to embellish this painting using this stencil, and we've got the Elmer's Craft Bond um, repositionable glue, and this was a suggestion slash test from Naptime Creations. Um, she, I think, I don't know, sorry if I'm wrong, um... They messaged me, they commented on a video where I used this glue in the past on a doily and I wanted to know if it would help keep this plastic uh, stencil down. I'm sure their stencils may be slightly different, but this is the one that I've chosen to go here. And the color we're going to spray paint is a citrus green, this uh, Cryoline Color Max Indoor, Outdoor, yada yada. You know the drill. Um, so, let me actually get... A piece of parchment just to help not pick up stuff with the glue stick and I'm trying to decide which side I wanted to glue down I think I want to glue this down it feels a little bit smoother so it might like adhere a little bit better so I'm just gonna go through just gently covering the stencil um, I'm sure if you use a less complicated stencil you wouldn't have to do as much glue Corner so that will be easier. We'll see if this works. If it keeps it down, I think their concern was um, if you just set the stencil down and then did the spray paint, the the force of the air from the spray paint might. might move your stencil. That was the concern. I think some areas are more adhesive. Did did Maybe not. I don't know if that's a word. It's kind of hard because I can't really push down perfectly. Here. I'm going to try to put a lot in the middle area. Set it down where I want it, and then I'm from the back, I'm pushing through. So I'm going to take this outside and spray it, and then let it dry, probably a little bit longer than the 10 minutes as it says on the can, and then we'll come back and, actually, you know what, somebody else recommended that I pull the stencil off, or it was during the, the lace videos that I've done in the past, peel it off before it dries, so I may try that on this one. I apologize that I don't remember who gave me that suggestion. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and try that on this one as well. So two for one here. We'll go spray paint this. I'll let it set for just a little bit and then I'll pull the stencil off. So here we go. Okay, so it's been approximately five minutes, so it's still wet. Um, even when moving the box, I got paint on my thumb right there. So I expect to get paint on myself here. And try to lift this as gently as I can. And the glue worked because it stuck. But as you can see, I got all the little hairies all over the place. Still looks super cool, I'm not gonna lie. Let me see if I can bring you in closer. Oh, so I've got weird shadows. But if you can see, we've got all these little like sticky hairs because it wasn't dry. So moral to that story is probably wait the entire time so that you don't get that or pull it off immediately. I also may have oversaturated, maybe. That might be all the, the leakage. Let me bring you down for a close up so you don't have all the shadows. Okay. 
So you can see it got all sticky, which is expected since it was in the process of drying. But that may have either that caused the bleed out or I sprayed too much and that caused it to bleed through. Up here it has some pretty sharp lines. So I'm thinking this is user error with heat putting too much paint down all at once. Probably should have done one coat and then gone back through and done another one later after it dried. So user error here, but definitely something to try again in the future as assuming that there's no, that the uh, too much paint caused the bleed out, then this will be a way to get really sharp lines by using a stencil and spray paint. So, this concludes this experiment for now. If you have any suggestions, leave them in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and it makes you happy.